Hey guys, it's Mick Super and welcome back to NBA Live Mobile. The NBA Finals 2019 have started in real life and in NBA Live Mobile. As you know, Game 1 happened yesterday. A 118-109 victory for the Toronto Raptors. That was a great win. The Raptors lead one nothing in the series. It was a great game by Pascal Siakam. And that's why he's the new playoffs moment. Pascal Siakam, the hero of game one for the Raptors, kind of. He led the charge with 32 points. Let's look at his stats real quick. We'll be going over how to get him in a second. 101 agility, 101 speed, 102 agility, 105 mid range, 105 inside paint, 105 pro shot, 102 dunking, 102 rebounding. Really good card there. But before we head into his NBA final stuff, I have one last update to share with you from the second chance promo which ended, uh, I believe, two days ago. So, Let's give you a clip. Enjoy. Well, this is our final update of the Second Chance promo. We have gotten to 232,000 points. We have gotten our three level tokens. Now we will do the second event. get ourselves the second master so let's quickly get two three pointers I already have the idea of which master to pick so don't worry about me debating with you guys of which one to pick but please let me get I just need to get two three pointers. Please let me save some time. My gosh. Oh my goodness. Good grief. Get this. Thank you. All right. Let's open up this up real quick. Bam, let's choose Kemba Walker. I am loving that card. So as you saw there, I completed my second, second chance master, no money spent, the Kemba Walker. We'll be looking at our team in a second. But first, let's go over the stats of every one of these six players we see on the screen right now. We have Dwayne Wade. Who gives you a plus three score with contact to the team? These are the historic heroes for the NBA Finals promo. We'll talk about um, if you should go for the historic heroes or if you should go for the player of the game. We'll talk about that in a second. But first, Dwayne Wade, plus three score with contact to the team, three point clutch at Millennium. 
very good stats 104 spin 105 agility 105 in range 102 three pointer 106 inside paint 103 dunking 104 scoring with contact 106 dribbling very good stats he's the player i'm going for to start this promo off lebron james small forward street lineup plus three dunk to the team in the paint ability also a very good player, 103 speed, 106 agility, 107 mid-range, 102 three-pointer, 104 inside paint, 105 dunking, 104 scoring with contact, 105 contested shot. Tim Duncan, power forward for the defensive lineup, plus three post to the team, two-point clutch. Uh, 101 agility, 101 mid-range, 93 three-pointer for a power forward, not bad. 106 inside paint, 105 post shot, 101 dunking, 105 scoring with contact, 104 offensive rebound, 105 defensive rebounding. And the final historic hero is Magic Johnson, a center for the balanced lineup, plus three speed to the team with the in the paint ability. 102 speed, 104 agility, 103 mid range, 98 three pointer for a center. 103 inside paint, 103 post shot, 105 scoring with contact, 106 dribbling, and 106 passing accuracy. Lots of stuff above 100, but the two masters for this promo are going to be Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard. Cool. Kevin Durant does not give a, uh, a stat boost, but does have two point clutch. Look at these stats, only three stats are below 100. He has 105 with 106 mid range, 104 three pointer, 106 inside paint, 103 scoring with contact, 105 contested shot. Kawhi Leonard in the paint ability, 104 speed, 104 agility, 105 mid range, 103 three pointer, 103 inside paint, 106 contested shot. Really good cards. Okay, so let's move on from that. This is also the last day for the Under Armour Rush promo. Personally, I will be getting the 104 Curry today. Not on camera, unfortunately. I'm not finished the events just yet. This is my team as of right now. We just claimed the Kemba Walker in that clip we showed you guys. He has pretty good stats. Plus three mid-range to the team as well. And also, I have a 105 overall, no money spent lineup now. It's looking really nice. Okay, so let's talk about the NBA Finals promo now. If you didn't check out my preview from yesterday, make sure to check out my in-depth preview. I will be repeating a lot of the stuff I said yesterday in today's video. But of course, with a better screen. Three Blitz events. For 25, 50, and 75 stamina, give you one, two, and three gold trophy tokens. This extra event here costs 1,000 coins. You get four gold trophy tokens from completing this. This is the most the BS event I've ever seen in this game. All based on luck. There are four hot spots. And you shoot in one of the hot spots, and only one of them will give you the reward. The other three will make you lose the challenge and make you do it again. I wasted a whole bunch of coins on that. Here we get a player of the game event which gives you one uh, gold trophy token with a chance at the 105 player of the game. In this case, it is Pascal Siakam. There's also an elite trophy token up for grabs there. Personally, I chose Dwayne Wade, so I unlocked the Miami Heat campaign. Okay, so now let's go over this. To get the 105 Pascal Siakam, you need 15 of the NBA Finals elites. And the game one elites are right here. They cost five elite trophies each. So if you think about it, you need 75 elite trophy tokens for one 105 overall. But you can also get 105 overall historic heroes. 
which I'm sure a lot of you will be doing. But before you go start grinding for these, let's see how many collectibles you need for this. So here you need 4, 12, 27, 57, 92, 117. Plus the ability token. So 117. Is it 117? Yeah, it's 117. 117 elite trophy tokens to get the 105 with the boost. Yeah, the one with the stat boost. Compare 117 to 75. Which one is better? Looking at the numbers, obviously you would say that these player of the games are better. However, these player of the games are only available for one day. And if you are no money, if you are a no money spent player, you there's no way you've been grinding that hard to get up to 75 elite tokens. Like personally, I only have 21 elite trophies. There is no way that a no money spent player can up get up to 75 at this point of the promo. So, practically, you won't be able to get Pascal Siakam. Unless you are lucky and pulled him out of the chance pack, which is very unlikely. We will, we will be opening up five of those packs in a second. But which one is better for you? Would you go for the Dwayne, uh, I mean the historic heroes? Or would you go for the 105 player of the games? Personally, I think I'd go for the historic heroes because they give boosts. Boosts are very important, because when you don't have boosts, you kind of... Not a, it's not a good fit for your bench. Because eventually, you'll get better uh, better players. And when you get better players, you gotta put someone on the bench. And... By the time that you get a better player to replace this Pascal Siakam, the Pascal Siakam would have lost all his value already. And would have probably dropped like from two million to like five hundred thousand in the auction house. So that's just my tip for you guys. I might be wrong about that prediction of the drop in the price, but that's my advice to you. I would go for the story heroes over the player of the games. I know the numbers say that this player of the game says much cheaper, but oh, one more thing. You cannot use finals teammates in this set. What is a finals teammate? Let's tell you what a finals teammate is. So as you see here, like on the 98 Dwayne Wade set, there is a 96 to go with that, the 98 Peyton, the 99 Haslam, and the 100 O'Neal. You cannot use those players in the player of the game set, which sucks, really sucks. You can use it for the ability token, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can use the ability token, you can use the teammates on the ability token, but not on the you know, player of the game, which sucks. But whatever, it is all right. So, naturally, you go to the auction house and try to get some 93s, because that's the lowest overall for the uh, NBA Finals Game 1 Elites. So, 93, 2019 NBA Finals. Do you see a 93? You don't. And every one of these are teammates. So you're telling me that the Game 1 Elites are not auctionable. They are non-auctionable. All of these players here are teammates. And you can't use the teammates 
in the player game set. So that means you have to get 15 of the 93 plus is legit. Like, that is BS. You can't even get the 102 on the auction now. So that means the game one elites are not auctionable. That sucks. You have to get 15 of these game one elites or whatever game of you know, these elites legit you can't buy them off the auction auction house you can buy the teammates off the auction house to get the ability token but you can't buy the elites which is very unfortunate so that's why i would go for the historic heroes instead of the player of the games that's just my advice Okay, let's move on from that. We are going to open five of the player of the game chance packs to see if we can get lucky and pull the Pascal Siakam. Of course, I also have a bunch of bonus packs. I opened like 60 of them yesterday, but I don't have that much time in my life to just keep on tapping these bonus packs. I will open them, uh, open them up off screen. Yesterday when I opened 62 packs, around, no actually around 60 packs yesterday, I did pull an elite one of the bonus in one of the bonus packs. And I think I pulled an 84 out of the bonus packs. So getting an, uh, an elite in a bonus pack isn't that rare in my opinion, uh, but it's always nice. When you know it is possible. Second last chance pack. Can we pull it? Bam! Dang it. Last one. And boy, I hate sliding down this trash. A last chance pack. Can we pull Siakam? Bam! Dang it. basically gonna wrap it up for me today leave a comment in the uh, comment section below on if you're going for the historic heroes or the player of the games or are you going for something else leave a comment in the section below leave a comment on which historic hero you're going for I'm going for the Dwayne Wade what are you guys going for let me know Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. And as always, it is time for us to go. See you guys.